At Internal Medicine Associates Labs, doctors use common standards to keep patients safe. We use universal precautions and everything is single use. So one needle, one patient. But the State Department of Health found that wasn't happening at the Bloomington Surgery Center. Here, the health department says an anesthesiologist used the same syringe on multiple patients undergoing eye surgery, a dangerous practice that spanned 27 months, from February 2004 to May 2006, which left more than 1,800 people open to infection, their blood exposed to other patients. The concern about contamination here was great enough that a doctor was hired to independently investigate the problem. Just in the last two weeks, that doctor sent out letters to local physicians warning of potential patient exposure to disease. Exposure to hepatitis C, hepatitis B, and even HIV. In the letter to physicians, Dr. Douglas Webb said the Bloomington Surgery Center patients have an extremely low risk of infection, but that risk cannot be ruled out. While the anesthesiologist was reusing syringes, records show 10 patients had hepatitis C, one had hepatitis B, and one HIV. After the surgeries, two people People developed hepatitis C, but doctors can't clearly link the disease to the dirty syringes. Still, because of the danger of contamination, all 1,880 exposed patients are being urged to get tested. The IMA is offered to test people for free. I'm not a clinician, not a physician, but obviously it's better to be safe than sorry. Bloomington Surgery Center is paying for the blood tests and has since fired the doctor who exposed patients to deadly disease.